This is a short video on how these astrophotography images were taken. To get good results, you have to take these photos at a location with dark skies, no clouds, and during the new moon phase. Those days can be very rare since they're only a few days a month at most. The telescope is set up on its mount with a hyperstar lens and the main CCD camera. Hyperstar uses Celestron's fast star feature that allows the secondary mirror to be removed from the Celestron Schmidt Cassegrain telescope and replaced by the Hyperstar lens. This results in greatly increasing the telescope's aperture to f2 and reduces the exposure duration by 25 times compared to the back of the scope at f10. A CCD camera is attached to the Hyperstar lens to record the images. Note that a CCD sensor is used instead of a CMOS sensor, typically found in DSLRs because CCD sensors have larger pixels, which makes them much more sensitive to light, while having a very low electronic noise and having a greater dynamic range. This makes CCD sensors ideal for astrophotography. A local laptop is connected via USB ports to the main CCD camera, the GuideScope CCD camera, the German Equatorial mount, and the autofocuser. Next, the mount's right ascension and declination is balanced out. Then the telescope must be aligned to the stars. This is automated by Celestron's star sense. Using the Telrad 3D sighting scope, the telescope is manually adjusted to point to Polaris. Then with a push of a button, the star sense camera takes a picture of the night sky using hundreds of stars to calculate its position. Star Sense automatically moves the telescope to a new position in the sky and repeats this process four times. After about three minutes, it's ready to be used. At this point, the rest of the operations can be performed inside in the telescope control room as shown here. The laptop outside is remotely logged in from a computer inside. The Maxim DL software running on the laptop outside controls all aspects of the telescope. The first step is to select the target by searching in the observatory window and click on the Go To button. The telescope slews to the target and test exposures are done to confirm the correct position. The initial star sense alignment of the German equatorial mount only tracks well enough for exposures less than two minutes or so. To achieve better tracking for longer exposures, the guide scope is used. A star is selected for the guide scope camera to track on and the telescope follows the star. This graph illustrates the tracking error and is typically less than one pixel. The main CCD camera was coarse focused to start with, but now needs to be fine tuned for extremely sharp images. This is accomplished with the autofocuser. With a click of a button, the autofocuser takes a series of exposures to find the best focus for this particular target. Now the scope is ready to be used to take the main images. The main CCD camera's cooler is turned on and the software is programmed for the exposure duration and the number of images to be recorded. From this point, the operator sits back to watch a few movies until all the images are captured. The resultant images are then stacked to greatly improve the signal to noise ratio and process to reveal all of nature's spectacular magnificence. This is the Adronema Galaxy, which is the largest spiral galaxy to Earth, even though it is 2.5 million light years away. This galaxy is so large that at F2, it requires four sets of images to be stitched together to capture the entire galaxy.